What's up? How are you guys today? We are back this week with another day of eating what I eat in a day. And since I haven't done like an overview in a while, I was carnivore for eight years, damaged my liver, really destroyed my health. I have a few videos on that if you guys want the details. And now I've been following this liver detox diet uh, for about two years now. And I will do an update on that as well in the near future. But I've been feeling better. I've been getting better. But as you can imagine, you know, 10, 15, 20 years of liver damage really since I was a teenager can take a long time to fix. So whenever you guys are asking me questions about this or that, the purpose of the diet is to heal the liver damage. And we'll talk about why as we get into this video. But since I haven't eaten all day, I want to get this first meal over with. So let me show you guys what I have. So the nutritional star of the show is the roast beef from Frankie's Free Range Meat, which will be on some homemade bread. I got a little tired of sitting in my car driving down to the city and just finding high quality organic bread. So this is a, isn't a sourdough, it's just made with higher quality yeast, organic flour, filtered water. So we're having that today and we have some organic russet potatoes just coated in some oil and salt that we're gonna throw in the air fryer. And I also made a mayonnaise with secret ingredient. Maybe I should tell you guys, maybe we'll make it on Frankie's Strange Meat, I don't know, but that's going to go on the bread with the roast beef just for some more flavor and a source of fat. So I'll see you guys when everything's cooked. Here's our lunch. We have some cute little sandwiches with the roast beef and mayo on them and the homemade bread. The French fries just got out of the air fryer. Water kefir grains for probiotics. Mastic gum for gut motility and some Fuji water, low mineral water. So because I kind of rushed to make this bread last night, it's very, very dense. I don't want to have too much of it. The digestibility is not that high. It's your traditional average like grocery store preparation using fresh yeast even though the flour is organic even though we're using bottled mineral water it's not as good as a sourdough because the long fermentation of the sourdough not only makes it taste better it increases the digestibility of the bread it's a bit healthier for you but this is still excellent still excellent you know the sourdough takes so much time so much prep i might start doing it um, probably less time than driving to the city and buying the bread there and I know that I'm making it with quality water, so we'll probably start making sourdough within the next few weeks, but maybe on uh, Saturday, I'll show you guys how to make this really fresh bread, and it's done in three hours flat from start to finish. So I have the French fries because with just the sandwiches, the gut motility isn't that good. You know, maybe I'll make like an artichoke or bean dip and I can dip some of the bread in that, but I need some type of fiber or something to go with this meal, and today it's gonna be the potatoes the water kefir grains for uh, the probiotic, as I said, and I would be drinking the water kefir, but you guys bought all of it. Uh, so when we make a batch tomorrow, I'm gonna have to save some for myself. And this mastic gum, guys, is available on organsupplements.com. Very important just for keeping the food out of the stomach, getting it moving into the small intestine and digesting. Now this bread's good, but for some reason I can't stop eating it. And something like white bread is one of the best things to detox your liver because it's like a clean slate. And all of those toxins from the bile, from the gallbladder, are going to be kind of soaked into it and absorbed into it. The only downside is uh, refined carbohydrates can deplete certain B vitamins. So you want to be mindful of taking things like B1, sometimes B3. So you got B vitamins, animal protein, the roast beef, mostly carbohydrates, starch in the bread. And the potatoes have a decent amount of minerals, but mostly starch as well. And it's really about removing all of the negatives from your diet and giving yourself a clean slate to be able to heal. Yes, you might have to supplement certain minerals and certain B vitamins for the duration of this, but there are foods that you absolutely have to avoid when you have liver damage if you want to actually fix the problem long term. Because even just cheating once or twice a week on this type of diet can really set you back a few days. So you don't wanna make it like a, a six or seven year thing instead of a, you know, a three or four year thing to fix your health. All right, so about halfway through the meal, I'm just gonna take some of the water kefir grains. Probably about a tablespoon. And then I'll take uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon of the masticum. And as I've said before, guys, you got to be careful with this stuff because it will 
act as a laxative if you take too much. Now, most of my followers have experienced some degree of health issues. That's why they're following me to try to, you know, fix their problem through diet and nutrition. And depending on the severity of that health issue will dictate how long it takes to fix. So, you know, the carnivore diet got me to the point where I had insomnia. I couldn't sleep at all. I couldn't eat anything. I couldn't even eat meat anymore. I could not follow the carnivore diet. I got that sick, you know, just eating a pound or two of lean meat per day made things much, much worse. So if you can't tolerate foods, if you can't sleep, that, that's the severe end of it. If you're just having like mild things, mild pain, that's sort of moderate. And if you think you're kind of healthy, but just want to optimize things, that's the low end. So in my scenario, it could take me another two or three years just to get back to normal. And then a few years after that to get to optimal health. So worst case scenario, you're talking about, you know, a seven plus year journey to get back to your true health. Moderate scenarios, I would say two or three years and you should be perfectly healthy, good to go. And then if you really don't have any health problems, you probably still might need a year or two just to get to optimal and make sure that your liver is clean and detoxed of everything. So uh, God knows how long I'll be doing this diet for. Yeah, so for about a year, year and a half, I had to be super strict and I wasn't feeling that great. Uh, then as soon as I kind of discovered the water kefir and was using that every day, I started feeling better. And maybe for about six months, I was on a large amount of water kefir to fix my gut. And then now, within the past like two or three months especially, I can eat meals like this without anything. I could have a sandwich and potato chips and be fine. I, I could, I'll be able to sleep that night. Uh, but, you know, to consistently eat, I like to have a little bit of the kefir grains and a little bit of the mastic gum. So you should be at a point where you can tolerate normal foods again. And based on my blood markers, how I feel, all of that stuff, I know 100% I'm getting better. I just know that, you know, yeah, can I just go back to following a normal diet at this point? Probably, but I'm not going to feel that great and I might have some health issues flare up. So it's more about the long term, get 100% fixed and then see where things are. And this is an important thing I might not have brought up before. The liver has a limited capacity of detoxing. So whenever someone's telling you to do a liver cleanse, do this, do that, a few days to a week it is not going to be able to undo years of liver damage. So, you know, if your liver was storing toxins for years and years and years, slowly, slowly, slowly accumulating in your liver to release it, Unfortunately, it's the same thing. Slowly, every day, the liver, the cells are only able to release a certain amount of toxins. So you can't just, you know, blow it all out in a few months of a super clean. No, no. You have to be consistent over a very long period of time. And then the liver can release toxins every day at a reasonable rate and heal. So, you know, it, it's not like it's going to take 10 or 15 years to undo 10 or 15 years of damage, but... Don't expect it to be a several month process. Now a diet like this is completely 100% necessary to detox your liver. The question is, how many other things can you do to help heal? If all of the factors are present, especially diet, I would say diet is 60 to 70%. Sun exposure is 20 to 30%. And then the remaining percentage of exercising and sleep is also pretty, pretty significant, maybe even higher. Uh, so, you know, if I didn't have all the stress of the business, my personal life, if I was able to exercise every day and do things and be outside and get as much done as possible, yeah, I'd probably heal a lot quicker. So instead of being like a five-year healing process, maybe it could have been a four-year healing process, but, you know, you have to kind of do the best with what you have access to. So if you're having digestive problems or health issues, that means you have organ damage, your liver, your pancreas, not working properly. The reason you want to eat a lot of carbohydrates is not only to pull those toxins out and give them something to soak into, it's because probiotics eat carbohydrates. So you have impaired digestive organ function and you're not producing enzymes to digest anything, proteins, fats, or carbs. So by reducing the protein and fat, you take stress off the digestive organs and the bulk of the carbs can be digested by the bacteria, something kind of like outside of your body's uh, necessities or capabilities if it can't do that. And then as you get better, you'll be able to alter things slightly.
All right, so since I'm a pig, I'm gonna have maybe an apple or two, possibly a banana rice crisp bar. Probably not. That, that bread's kind of denser compared to what I've been eating, but sometimes I will have uh, the banana rice crisp, which I really like because I know all the ingredients in it are super high quality, top notch, and I always feel good after having them Compa in comparison to chocolate chip cookies. And, and that's a big part of it, being able to find foods you like and enjoy uh, while still being healthy. So ho hopefully things work out and uh, I can continue to kind of do the YouTube and all the business stuff because th there is a lot of health information I still have to uh, reveal to you guys and a lot of things that I would like to be done, but I would not be opposed to laying on a beach in Mexico the rest of my life either. I'm okay with either one of those, but uh, I will see you guys for my second meal of the day, uh, which is going to be kind of the less inflammatory kind of, I guess, more whole foods version just for slightly better digestion. Yeah, I'll just show you guys real quick. We got the organic Fuji apples from Whole Foods and organic banana rice crisp bar from Frankie's Free Range Foods. What's up guys? We are back for dinner. Most of the food has actually been prepped already, so let's take a look. So the only thing we have to cook is some beautiful filet mignon steaks from Frankie's Free Range Meat. I like them because, you know, the texture is so tender, so easy to eat, very good on digestion. The main carbohydrate is some brown rice. I made this in the Instant Pot a day ago. It's been in the fridge. I actually really love the organic long grain gourmet rice from Lundberg Farms. Normally I don't like brown rice and I don't like white rice that much, but this stuff is, is good. And what's interesting is if you leave this rice out, it doesn't mold, but the white rice molds. So it goes to show you there's some sort of nutrient and preservation component, probably a bit easier on digestion too. Here we have some of the glazed mushrooms that we made a few weeks ago. Very delicious. If you guys want to check that recipe out, we do have it on YouTube. And this is just a very concentrated bone broth that actually looks like mold, but it's just some globs of fat on the top. This is the collagen broth from Frankie Strange Meat. I take that, I put it in the pressure cooker with a bunch of oxtail and meat and whatever I have to increase the B vitamin content drastically. Uh, we're going to put some of this in the rice to warm it up. And we'll also put a little bit on the steak and the mushrooms. So two nice spoonfuls of the collagen broth, and then we're going to put a couple spoonfuls of the rice. Filet just goes in the pan. I, I think I'll save uh, one filet because, you know, I try to only have between six and eight ounces of protein per meal. We got a lot of space in this pan, so put in some mushrooms. So after I get a little color on the filet, put some beef broth in here. Now that'll continue to cook the meat as well as reduce and, and deglaze and add a lot of flavor. You could also cook the rice in the, in the collagen broth instead of using water in the Instant Pot. All right guys, we have our filet, mushrooms, and brown rice. Filet is completely raw in the middle due to my lack of patience. I'm constantly amazed by these mushrooms. I could literally eat a whole plate of them on their own. So as we've gone over hundreds of times on this channel, meat, protein, B vitamins, did a video a year or two ago titled Why Meat is Good for You if you want like the full look at all the B vitamins and amino acids and minerals and that stuff. Mushrooms, these are organic shiitake mushrooms, very concentrated source of minerals, but I eat them because they're tasty, even though they are actually one of the best sources of copper and other you know, plant-based minerals. Brown rice in comparison to white rice is higher in minerals, higher in fiber, better for gut motility, even more B vitamins as well. Overall, much healthier choice from a nutritional perspective on all fronts. So this is a good combination of foods, you know, to give your body the B vitamins it needs to heal the liver, as well as the minerals, and then some gut motility from the brown rice and to feed the gut bacteria, keep things moving really healthily. And on top of all of that, you have the collagen broth, that concentrated beef to add the extra amino acids and protein, which is very good for healing the gut lining and, and keeping all your cells very healthy. Now, as delicious as this meal is, I get hungry because I still have like 20, 30 pounds of extra muscle from bodybuilding. So I need like a really concentrated, dense source of calories to really uh, fuel my body. Otherwise, I just lose weight. So 
That's why you guys see me eating bread and sandwiches and stuff. So same as earlier, guys, we're going to have another tablespoon of the water kefir grains. And maybe half a teaspoon of the mastic powder. Now, if your health issues are really bad and you're having a hard time sleeping, I would actually omit the protein from dinner. So this could just be a big plate of brown rice with mushrooms and maybe some sauteed onions and other stuff to add some flavor and bulk to the meal. But just by not having the very difficult to digest protein in your stomach, the iron and the steak, it's definitely worth trying. Okay, so just like earlier, I'm going to have an apple and maybe one of the rice crisp bars for dessert. Earlier, I actually had two apples and a rice crisp bar. So I, I've been eating a lot lately. Maybe I need to fast or just reduce my consumption for a few days just to kind of get back to some uh, more regular appetite. But hopefully you guys have learned something from this and have enjoyed this day of eating. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Uh, we have a lot of these products available on all of my businesses that you can see on frank com, The filet mignon and the roast beef we have on Frank Easter Range Meat as well as the collagen broth. Water key for water key for grains, Frank Easter Range Foods. Oregon supplements, we got the mastic gum, some magnesium and stuff that I took earlier. Frankie's Naturals. I'm wearing the deodorant right now. And of course, you guys always see me decked out in my Wi-Fi shielding clothing. Regardless of how crazy or mysterious I look in this black outfit, uh, I feel a lot better when I wear it and it's kind of mandatory. Uh, if only I could wear a moon helmet uh, without too many people thinking I'm some type of crazy beekeeper. So thanks again for joining me, guys. frank I'll see you for the next video.